you ready for this? Girl, we are the rubies. Ah! Okay. All right, King. Oh, somebody's a little mad. <laughs> Saturday, welcome back to another weekly vlog. My name is Adrienne. If it's your first time here, welcome. If not, I'm sorry. This is why I don't do the intro. I just messed up with the other one. I, I, I really tried today. I thought about it before I said it, and it still ain't come out right. Uh, so I'm gonna just say how y'all doing. Welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're new here, please subscribe. Turn on the notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a video. My Y'all hear that thunder? That was scary. Um, so I guess, listen, I, the way I be trying to sell myself, I guess I just don't need to. Whether you like me, subscribe. If you don't, thanks for watching. What's that? What, baby? I just hit it was a loud thunder, I know. It, was, it interrupted my, my intro. You want to tell them hi? I'm sorry, y'all. The light, I don't have the light, the light on right here, but say hi. Hi. Malia was up at... Four o'clock this morning, throwing up in our bed. I don't know why. I think it was something she ate. She threw up twice, and then we gave her some uh, Imatrol, and then she finally went back to sleep around 6.30ish, and I fell asleep, and then I woke up again at 8.30. Um, I edit, worked on editing a vlog. I have y'all on my big tripod, like my big industrial tripod. Y'all wanna see how big the tripod is? That's how big this tripod is. This is like my, when I had my YouTube room, this was my big, heavy duty, expensive um, tripod um, here and it's adjustable, but this is like, this is like a stationary. Like once you set it up, it ain't moving. But my other camera that I have was really heavy. My Canon D, my DSLR camera, the T, no, not the T3, 6D, 60D. I don't know, that camera was really heavy, but honestly, I still rather the quality of my new vlogging camera and my old vlogging camera over that camera because this one has the auto focus, auto softening effect or whatever. Um, this is so weird having to carry this big old tripod around the house. I was about to come show y'all outside because we, I, I'm working on the thumbnail for tomorrow's video. So by the time you see this, this will be from um, Sunday's, Sunday's vlog because I think I'm going to upload this either Thursday or next Sunday. I don't know yet because I don't have a video for Thursday yet. So um, I'm thinking about doing a wash day routine um, on my YouTube, an in-depth wash day routine with all my favorite products. I just did one on my shorts um, last week. 
but I want to do one in-depth one on my YouTube it's two o'clock and I wanted to see this is a very very popular vlogging camera I've been 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 I've been being nosy lately and seeing um, what kind of camera other vloggers have that I watch and it's this one it's this one this is the Sony ZV-E10 or they have just the Sony Z10 or Z10 I don't know the other one um but one of the girls was saying that she films in hmm maybe auto mode or something AI mode or so I was like I never played with the settings on this thing I just like started it and started recording I don't even know the settings oh it's on auto focuses on mm, intelligent auto that's what she that's what she called and that's what I shoot in I shoot in intelligent auto and then I have that um, extra extra wide lens there I'm gonna go ahead and charge this let me go carry y'all in this big old tripod outside to the garage I guess it's about to start raining because it's thundering like crazy outside I washed I bought some fruit and washed my fruit and I didn't cut it I didn't cut all of it we had boudin for lunch and tonight we're gonna cook some hibachi that's what we're gonna eat tonight watch my kids gonna say something about this big tripod watch just watch Sunday actually Sunday night um y'all it's 10 47 p.m um which y'all know is past my bedtime and I meant to pick the camera up earlier and I did not <sighs> it's been a Sunday I woke up late because I was supposed to get up at six cook sorry cook dinner I mean cook lunch before I went to church and then go to church come home I knew we had bowling tonight so and I, I even thought I can like sneak in washing my hair <sighs> no so I got up at 6.45 and then I still, Mike can help me um, cook. So I did some other steak um, and then some green beans, some fresh green beans, y'all. 
they were so good. The food was so, so good. I don't cook with Tony's sacheries because to me it's too salty. But I cooked with, I usually cook with Louisiana Soul. But tonight I cooked with Tony's sacheries and Louisiana Soul today. And I feel like it was, the food was a little salty. It was good. It had a good flavor. Every, I was so proud of my gravy, y'all. I didn't use no kitchen bouquet or no browning um, stuff. Literally, me browning my meat and everything made the perfect color of my gravy. I was so proud of my gravy. So proud of my food. I actually did a video on it. Um, it was kind of like a not really, it was like a not on purpose video, but I think I have enough clips to make it into a video. So, um, I'm going to try to do one this week and post it, um, as a short or a reel or whatever. I'm going to edit it one day this week and then, uh, take off that day and that'll be one of my videos for the day. Um, and the green beans, the fresh green beans, oh, they were so good. They were delicious. So it was so, so good. Even the kids enjoyed it. But I enjoyed the kids coming over and we all sat at the table and we ate um, as a family. We haven't done that in a long time with no iPads, just us sitting there talking. So we haven't done that in a long time. And I loved every second of it. I love my family so, so much. Um, our My stepson came over this weekend, which... I think I know I've talked about it before, but I don't think I've introduced him to the channel. But I ha Micah has a eighth grader. He's a uh, not even sure how old he is. Maybe he's twelve, maybe. I know he's in, I know he's going to eighth grade. He's going to eighth grade. He has he has a son. Um, but he came over this weekend. Um, he doesn't come very very often, but he does. He is starting to come a little bit more. So he came over this weekend. So we had him. He was not in the that the dinner because he was sleeping after church he came home and he went to sleep and he was out but i think i showed him outside oh he was actually boxing with andre on the trampoline the other night yesterday so um but yeah so he is the seventh he is our seventh child of our blended family um on in our the meet the family vlog he wasn't here that weekend and we i knew we had a layer that weekend when she doesn't live here either it's hard trying to get us all together under under one roof honestly that doesn't happen very often and i I can't tell you last time that we all were together under one roof it's either he'll come but then well, never come or the girls will come but he won't be here or when the girls and nick are here the boys aren't here it's hard to get us all under one roof but we do have that is our seventh child. He is our, um, he's not the baby, but he's a part of the family as well. So he came over this weekend and uh, he left a little earlier. And then we went to go bowling tonight with the youth. We had a graduation ceremony. You know, went to Sam's. I got some groceries. I did a mini life, life in the vlog. So if you guys are subscribed and watch shorts, then I'm sure you guys seen today's mini vlog. I didn't get to post until... 10 o'clock and my my cutoff time is usually I try not to post past 10 o'clock but I posted this video past 10 o'clock uh, number one because it's late I'm never up this late number two my audience is sleeping during this time well honestly I don't know if I ever posted this late I posted twice I posted this late one time for vlog vlog when I was doing vlogmas and I had to post that day and I posted late that night at like I don't know 11:30. And that video didn't do too well. So I was like, Oof, okay, that's, that's, definitely, that's definitely not a peak time. And I guess if I don't post during my peak time, then people don't see my video. Like, they don't push it out to my audience. So I'm about to go to bed. I'll watch this a second with you guys on this Sunday. Just say, hey, how you doing? Um, I got some suggestions on what I should call this family, this click, this units of people um i think what sticks out to me the most that i like is the root is rubies like my ruby my ruby family rubies and i think it kind of goes with rubies are red my hair is red um rubies are precious and all of you are so it's like i, I like rubies rubies the ruby gang i don't why why am i stuck on gang i tell you i'm not ghetto why am i so trying to say gang the rubies. I like that. You like that? Leave me a comment down below and let me know if you like the rubies. I wonder if there's a ruby emoji. Listen, I'm not doing that tonight. I'm going to bed. I like that. Y'all comment down below. Let me know. And I'm going to talk to y'all tomorrow. Bye. Happy Monday.
you guys. I'm sorry about the way that you're set up. Um, I don't have you mounted on my car mount just yet. And I'm running late, so I'm gonna try to rig this some type of way. It ain't working. Uh, just happy Monday, y'all. I wanted to come in here and tell you guys. <sighs> happy Monday. I'm about to go drop the girls off to my parents' house. Mala starts swimming lessons today for the summer. It's the first day of summer. Um, first day of summer swimming lessons. Um, they go to some place here. Mom takes them. That's actually where I, where I learned how to swim, actually. And I'm a, I swim like a fish, so I can say that very confidently. <laughs> I can swim very well. Tread water, do all that stuff. So, very proud of that. I want my girls to learn. My boys, that's where they learned at. I don't know what this light is on my car, but um, today I plan to just go to work. <sighs> when I get off, go home, try to clean my house because my house is dirty from last night. Like, so dirty. So, I plan to do that when I get off of work, clean up, and then we have to go eat dinner with um, some friends from church. We're going to uh, eat with them. I think at 6.30 or 6, 6.30 I think, tonight. So uh, that's the plans for tonight. The kids are gonna be fed for themselves, they're gonna eat. They're gonna cook tonight on their own and they're gonna eat tonight on their own. So that really means Andre and Akai is gonna cook tonight. So, um, which would probably be something simple as sausage and tomato gravy or something spaghetti. Something that's quick and simple for them to cook that they can do on their own without burning my house down is the goal. But yeah, I'm headed to work and I hope you guys have a fantastic, phenomenal day. I did a get ready with me this morning. I can get to know me, get ready with me. Um, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be way too long to put on my YouTube shorts. So I feel like chop and screw it up to make it down to one minute. But all my, I know TikTok will be the longest. It'll be the full form. Because TikTok allows you, I think up to three minutes or even longer if you, edit outside of and upload into the app. I've seen some videos go up to five minutes long. So um, I plan to do that. So if you see the short and you're like, oh, I wanna know more, go to my TikTok and you'll be able to see the full video there. I have no idea how long it is because I haven't edited it yet. I know I filmed for 38 minutes, so I'm sure I have to chop it down to very, very, very small. But yeah, headed to work. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. Why do I keep picking y'all up? Uh -oh. Skin? Oh, oh. Sorry. Let's take a moment about the skin. I just got done doing my face. It's the only reason why my face is this shiny. This is not normal. Um, I just got done doing my makeup. Hold on, y'all. And I said just got done doing my makeup. Got done doing my taking my makeup off, taking a shower. We went to go eat dinner with um some friends from church. It was like a couple. Oh, it wasn't even a couple's thing. It was it was three couples that went, but um just to discuss some things that's going on at church, upcoming events and all that stuff. So we all went and had dinner and it was delicious. So, so good. But before I had went, um, I told you guys I did like a get ready with me this morning. And um, that's how I, I told y'all this last night about the name for y'all, us, we. Um, so we're going to be called the... You ready for this? Girl, 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 girl. we are the Rubies. Ah! Are you a Ruby? Because I'm a Ruby. Are you a Ruby? You're a Ruby. Ruby, 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 Ruby. <laughs> I cracked myself up. And Mike over there hating. Baby, are you a Ruby? No. Did he say no? Baby, do you understand what a Ruby is? You a know. Ruby is, is a supporter of Adrian MG. So are you a Ruby? You want to rethink that answer? I'm the king Ruby. You're the king of Ruby, huh? Okay. All right, king. <laughs> yes, sir. No. Hey, not we, in front of people. We married. We are, but not in front of people. We married. I'm sorry, y'all. I didn't defile um, the bed. Um, we are... I didn't defile the bedroom. No. How was the meeting tonight? It was good. It was good. Productive. Real good. We thought it was I good. I enjoyed it. We enjoyed it. I'm not gonna, right gonna say I fasted, but I didn't need today. Looking forward to that, like Brother um, Julia said. It was uh we went to Texas Roadhouse and 
For some I reason, actually, it, was extra, it was extra good. It was good. Your, man, I want another piece of your torture for our steak, but I didn't want to ask you in front of everybody. So <laughs> I was the only wife that typically our code word for each other is like we go out to eat. I always. <laughs> you want some? You want I, some <laughs> I always ask him, you want to taste mine? And he knows that means here, baby. Like, he going he gonna to taste mine. And so, like, I was trying to get him to look at me at the table, but he wasn't looking because I was just like, man, that country fried steak. I had ordered a steak, and a country fried steak just looks so good. So I was trying to, like, you know, kind of point. So I kind of, like, just touched his plate. And then, and then I guess that's when he, he thought, like, oh, she must want a piece. So he cut me a piece and put it on my plate. I, like, sculpted it up so fast. I was like, dang, I want another piece. But I'm like, okay, I can't be that wife. All the other wives are eating their own food, and here I am digging in my man plate. So, uh, but that man, that chicken but see, that's what, but, so good. But that's what we do, though. So I know, but we try to ask. I want to ask civilized <laughs> and run the we, people. It's it's not uncivilized. To I ask know, but still, food. I don't want to be like you know the the green white. We're a different couple. You know, we we're are a different couple. We are, we are. But yeah, um, it was very productive. Oh, what I'm doing right now, I'm writing the Kaya's track workouts. Oh, uh, track slash volleyball workouts. Oh, workouts. Oh, okay. He has to go out of town tomorrow for work. So hopefully he'll be back in town not too, too late. I figure out we're gonna eat tomorrow. Malia has a hair appointment to get her hair done tomorrow. So I'm gonna try to bring my camera to show you guys that tomorrow. But as far as, it's 9.30. Malia, why are you not in the bed? Malia goes back to school tomorrow. And I made them clean up their room because their room was a hot mess. And let's go see how much they've gotten done. You ready, you ready for this? It's like a tight to turn y'all around. Put the iPads up. This room is not clean. This is not clean. And y'all know that. Go potty and come get this room cleaned. And y'all need to go to bed. It's way past y'all bedtime. This is the summertime where I can just go to bed when y'all want to. And you got school tomorrow, sister. You have to go to school. What are you doing? Go potty. Okay, we'll go to the other bathroom. And get it all cleaned up. Good night. I'm going to bed, but I want this room cleaned before y'all go to bed. Nobody in there. Go ahead. Girl, ain't nobody. There is nothing. There's a piece of paper. Go potty. And put that where it go to. Make your bed. All right, I'm going to bed. I took my Zyrtec. It's about to kick in. It's about to say night night. You're on my bed. You coming to bed too? And I have the giveaway winner, Miss Brooke. I have your box here that is going to be mailed out tomorrow with. All of the Tyler Candle Company stuff is going to be mailed out tomorrow. I went got this from post office today, so I can mail out the giveaway giveaway boxes. So I'm gonna do that tomorrow. How did you hurt yourself, Milo? I was walking to go put the shoes up. What happened? I got the shoes off. What happened? That toy shark. Oh, this day. I'm going to get it. So she gets out of work. You 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 potty baby. It's cool. That is definitely a daddy's girl. Cause me, me, get that room clean. Her foot and all, get that room clean. I'm not really that, I'm really not that mom, but um, I noticed that whenever they're, they're, they're wanting to get out of stuff, everything becomes a problem, everything hurts, or they start fighting or do something. I gotta put my retainer back in my mouth. I think I left it in my purse. Babe! Can you go get my retainer out the out my uh truck in the garage? Your what? My retainer. Let's brush my teeth too before I go to bed. Her teeth is still shifting. I went to the dentist today. I got my teeth cleaned. So fun fact, y'all. <clears throat> so I had I did this appointment in January. I missed it. Completely forgot. I, I never I never miss I never miss my appointments. I missed it. 
I called in February to reschedule it. I'm thinking, okay, you know, they'll get me into February, beginning of March. No, they said the oats we have is like July 13th. I'm like, oh my gosh. Okay, fine. Put me down and just put me, and I'll just call back for cancellation. Well, I never called. Here we are in June. I have a retainer at the bottom of my teeth. Can y'all see that? I have a retainer. And thank you, baby. Thank you. I had a um, plaque buildup. I've never had plaque buildup. But I could like do this and feel the plaque. And then, so I'm like, man, what is that? So then I go and you can see the plaque. So then I end up ordering me like the um, the cleaning utensils. You know how to kind of you order um, that they use at the dentist's office, like those little tools. So I ordered that um, online. And so I kind of scraped it. I'm like, okay, it feels a little better. So I was like, let me call them today. So I was like, let me, let me just see. I said, ma'am, do you have any? No, ma'am. I'm like, you didn't even let me finish. <laughs> you didn't even know what I'm calling for. So apparently they've been like booked up. So Micah missed his too. So I made his appointment today. His appointment's not till November. Homeboy missed in January too, because we always go the same week. He missed in January too, but I always make all, all his doctor's appointments for him. So I made his his and it's not until November. November 1st, I think, is, is when he goes. So and he just walking around like, my teeth feel fine. I'm like, you don't feel that plaque? You don't feel that, like, grittiness on your teeth? Like, there's no way. Like, I know you brush your teeth every day, but there's no way you don't feel that. Like, no way. So, um, anyways, I said all that to say, where was I going with this? Oh, so I called today and then she said no. And then so I said, well, can I schedule for my, for my husband? So she that, that scheduled his appointment. She called me back 15 minutes later and she was like, it must be your lucky day. We just had a cancellation. Can you come in now? I literally had just pulled back to work and I'm like, I'm on my way. So I literally went and got my teeth cleaned today and I don't go back until December. December 1st, I think, or December 9th. Because I was like, oh, this is 30 days after my surgery. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Like, this is 30 days after my surgery. Ah! Um, so I don't know if I told y'all. I don't know if I want to share it. But I, I I don't I don't know because I don't want my opinion to be swayed. But never mind, just never mind. Just I'm not even, I'm not gonna even get into that comment. I'm not gonna even get into that. Um, I'm about to brush my teeth, put my retainer in my mouth, and go to bed, and come back tomorrow, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. my grains to my medicine get dressed it's 6 50. my cat's going to work early this morning he has to go to I think Broussard or somewhere out of town so uh i gotta put the girls together get myself together I head to work so let me start my hygiene routine good morning again y'all um tuesday 
I'm about to go drop the girls off to um, Mala. It's going to my mom's house because she's doing swimming lessons this summer. Let me take my hair out. She's I'm going to the pool. She's going to swimming lessons in the pool. And Malia is going to school. school. Yep. So that's going to be our Tuesday. The daycare doesn't open until 8 o'clock, so I have to go. <coughs> Excuse me. The daycare doesn't open until 8 o'clock, so I have to go. I have to wait till like 8 o'clock. Um, I'm going to drop her mom off first to mom's house right at 8 and then drop Ma Malia off at like 8 10. So the daycare isn't that far from Mila, my mom's house from where she's going. So Mila is started off at the beginner's class yesterday. Right, Mila? Yes. And she did some bobbing and she did some kicking. I think it's like one hour a day and it's only a dollar a day. Uh, so for literally the whole month of June, I gave my mom $20 and it covers her swimming lessons. That's honestly where I learned how to swim, which I think I said that yesterday. I did say that. I said yes, yes girl. I'm saying the same thing over and over again. But mom is going to do really, really well in swimming. Um, I want to do some chipotle bowls tonight, but I don't have any chipotle peppers to marinate my chicken thighs in to grill them. So I don't know what we're going to eat tonight. Malia has to get her hair done today at 4. My permanent bracelet broke. I've been having this since December, January, January. And the one, this is the one that me and the girls have alike. Um, so I think, I, I think it's today. I didn't break it, baby. The, my, um, in the middle of the night I woke up and the way our door handles are, are like this. It's not the knobs, it's kind of, you know, like that. So as I was doing something, it got, my bracelet got stuck to it and it fell. So I did not break it, my love. That's the one that we and the girls have together. But when I go, I think it's today. It's either today or next Tuesday. I don't know. I have to make an appointment to get it fixed. But when I go, I want to get, she, she posted on her Instagram that she has this um, style. This is, this is a poppy necklace from Made by Mary. It's a choker. She has this um, style. And I was like, ooh, do I want to get a permanent necklace like this? But I was like, why? I already paid $100 for this one, so why would I pay? So then I was like, I can get another bracelet added. So I'm gonna get the bracelet to match this if she can take me today to do that. Uh, Cause she's pretty quick. It takes like 10 minutes to do it. Okay, Mala Claire, let's go bring you to my mall. We're here now, so let me go drop her off. Okay, this is the bracelet I was trying to tell y'all that I had got um, that broke on me. Like, I don't know if you can see it, if it's gonna focus, but this is the bracelet. This is the one that me, Mala, and Malia all have this style. These are the ones that I have, besides that, that buckle bracelet, I have three, and I wanna get one to match this. So I'm gonna see if she can do that. And I just pulled up, so let's go. This is a new shop I've never been to. I don't know, it's on Common Street. This girl I think does like permanent eyebrows or something, but the girl who's doing this does just the bracelets. So. <laughs> This is where I get my permanent bracelets <laughs> from. Um, I've gotten all mine from her and I absolutely love it. So I'm gonna let y'all watch while she does it. I don't bring my tripod, but I'm gonna set y'all right here. Okay. I'm so glad you like it. Yeah. You like it. Love, 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 love them. And I saw that you have one to match this, my necklace. <gasps> yeah. I need that one today. I'm Wait, is that a permanent or not? This one's not permanent. This is a, um, it's called Poppy. It's a Poppy Choker by Made by Mary. Some Instagram. I've seen um, that. Instagram thing. So Made by Mary. That pops up on my cell phone. Yes. So when I saw it, I was like, I have to get a bracelet. I think I'm going to get it on this side. Though. Oh, yeah. And you like how others fit? Yes. 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 I'm supposed to have surgery in November. Um, so I guess I have to come to you to get taken off for my mm -hmm. surgery. You could cut them off yourself if you wanted, but most just people the me. Yeah, so like what you would do is you'd find that little ring that I added and then cut it. So this one might be kind of hard to find, but like it's that one right there. Okay. That one's kind of okay. hard to find, but most of them you can see. Like it's a little. Do I cut it with pliers? Yeah, with pliers, or like if you have little wire cutters like these. Okay. But if you want to, like, most people just come to me and I just sit 
snip them off real fast. Okay, just to make sure it's at the right place. Yeah, because I want to put them right back on after this, after the surgery. But um, you know, I got some on my ankle, wrist, everything. So, but yeah. <laughs> Like She's so good. Thank you. This is actually my backup one. I just got a new one. I'm so excited. I have a, I have a more nicer one, but it's at home. I have mm -hmm. this is like my car one. Okay. Right. So wait. Going? So you're moving. You moved. Just for the summer. Yeah. Where are you going? Um, or I'm, I'm actually like in Austin right now. Austin. Oh yeah. Two of my friends. Like two of my best friends. That... Oh, that's good. Okay. That's good. Yes. Okay. Um, yeah. But how's all the like the social media stuff going? It's good. It's good. It keeps growing and growing and growing and growing, awesome. and growing and growing. Yeah, like that's I just felt so this cool. morning like I got I'm at 75 on YouTube and that was that's, a, yes. That's a that's big. Yes. That's a big deal. That is really a big deal. I literally like. Okay, God, how? How? Like, oh, she is done. This is this is the one that I told y'all I wanted to match my necklace. And she got it. Yay. She has it. So it. she is, I will definitely tag her, her page Did down. Yes. Mm -hmm. so, and it's French. It's French for, you want me to explain? Yes. Okay. Yes. So it means welded in French. And then also in French, instead of saying like close knit or tight knit, like those two friends are close knit or tight knit, they say they're welded. So like, oh. does that mean today? means like two welded friends but in French it's like oh those friends are close yes. and it makes sense yeah. it goes with the theme of the yeah. business it's yeah. great it's great so I'll tag her down below y'all she's here yeah. for y'all to come you. to get her so yeah and, oh let me show let me show y'all all the options that she has here this is oh wait this is mine but this is all of the ones like the stack I don't know I, I think she, I'm positive she helped me pick out the stacks so like I think I have this one I have this one I have this one me and the girls have do you have this one? Oh wait, no, you'll have um it's we not have, even out. It's not I but I didn't see that one. It's it's the one that, that broke, but that's the one that we have like together. Okay, but she has like the charms to go with it, like and these are good. Like these have not I never of course they're permanent, I don't take them off. Um but they've never faded on me. They are amazing. I love my bracelets. I have what eight nine of them and they're also on my ankles <laughs> yes this is the one that the girls and i have so yeah i'll tag her down below and y'all come see her check her out it was a bud yeah bud doubt me yeah i bud doubt you what's my accident oh somebody else bud doubt me too you must must be a bud dowling day for you i know i know <laughs> all right let me go let me go run and get this order i'll talk to you later all right bye all right bye so I am so, so, so happy that I have my necklace and my bracelet to match. She does it here in town um, by appointment only now. And now I'm about to go into Ulta to go in. I took my jacket off because it's hot. It's hot. I placed the order, God, I think it was Saturday. I don't even have my tripod and I'm so mad they bring my tripod with me um, to be able to vlog correctly, but um, I'm going to pick up my order from Alta. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm going to pick up my order from Alta to go and get my, uh, I ordered some bracelet. I brought it, uh, two brushes. Y'all know the foundation, the brush that I like to let out my concealer. I ordered that. So I'm going to pick that up. It was on sale Sunday and I went to post it. Atia texted me and told me, girl, I brushed it on sale. So I was so excited to go do this, but <sighs> let's go to Alta. I've been wanting to smell this. The Dolce & Gabbana perfume. Summer vibes. It's okay. It's okay. It's this one. It's been on my Facebook page. I need to up, get up on some more Donna's recipe. Okay, I'm thinking about getting this brush. The girl who did Mala's hair last time was detangling their hair with a brush with the vented like this. This brush is $20. And I'm trying to see if I want to get this one for $20. This one's $22. They look the same, but I like this one better. So I might try this one. 
It's a quick dry brush. It's white vented paddle brush. So I'm gonna see if this is how this does in detangling their hair. How the heck, how the heck did I just spend that much money inside of Ulta? Do a little Ulta haul when I get in the car. I actually don't have time. I'm behind on my lunch break. I'm not behind, but I need to hurry up and get back to work because my bracelet didn't take long to do, but I did too much shopping in Ulta. Ulta was supposed to be a pickup order, but hold on. It turned in, it turned from just a pickup order to shopping, but it was things that I needed to re-up on. So like one of the things I definitely needed was the Good Molecules, um, the Daily Brightening Serum. I've been out of that for like two weeks. And because I was out of it, I started using the Kiehl's when um, they sent me their serums. And surprisingly, I was I was quite impressed. I liked them. Honestly, it wasn't just like something that wowed me. I was like, oh, Kiehl's got it over a good molecules. To me, they both felt really good. I just was forced to use the Kiehl's, the Kiehl's one because I had it uh, in stock and I, I'm in stock. I had it and I uh, was out of my hyaluronic acid and my daily brightening serum. I think all I had up was just my niacinamide. So I got a daily brightening serum and well, I guess y'all gonna get this haul now while I'm driving. Um, the daily brightening serum. I got the Morphe. This is the sunscreen setting spray. So because it is summertime, I set my face with this now. I kind of like misted it a little bit with the tester in there and I was like happy with it. So I'm a, mm, it actually feels really good. Oh, oh, it has fragrance. It smells like suntan lotion. So if you don't like fragrant um, setting spray, you're not gonna like this. But this, I think this was like only $8, but um, it helps protect your skin from the sun. I use sunscreen now that sh that sh sh Shishido, sh 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 <laughs> the Shishido one I love. The stick one, it does not make my face really oily. It protects my skin, but I feel like I'll have that underneath it. And then if I set my face on this, I'll have two layers of protection from the sun. Cause y'all know I have, I have dark spots from my post acne, post acne marks that I hate so, so much. So, that's gonna help um, protect my skin from while I'm trying to fade that. Um, oh, somebody's a little mad. <laughs> um, I got the Donna's Recipe, the leave-in conditioner. I did my favorites and I used the last bit of this so I had to re-up on this. Love this, I will continue to repurchase this. This stuff is super duper moisturizing. I got, I showed y'all this brush in the store for Mala Malia and also for my hair to detangle it. So I'm going to try that out. I got the niacinamide serum. So obviously I had the hyaluronic at home and I was out of this one. So I got that. I did buy the e.l.f. one too, the e.l.f. Um, niacinamide serum. I got that from I think Ross or TJ Maxx and I'm not a huge fan of it. So, and that one's even cheaper than this one, but I wasn't a huge fan of it. I still like the Good Molecules one and Good Molecules I think was $8 and the other one was maybe six. What are you doing, sir? What are you doing? Did you want to get over? Cause you're not. Um, I got this Morphe setting spray. This is the bake and set. This is in the color banana rich. Not me doing a haul and driving y'all at lunchtime, but it's a yellow setting spray. And I want to say this was like maybe $10, $12, $15. I don't know how much it was. I know I spent too much money, way too much money, but I'm doing, I'm planning on doing reviews of all this stuff, even like a quick review. So I was influenced, these last three things I was influenced by my coworker to get. Um, she is into makeup too and she talked about the Juvia's Place powder foundation and she was like I really wish she talked first she talked about the blush and I was like girl I got the blush I really wanted the orange and the the orange and the maroon color like the two duo pant I have the pale pink and the hot pink super pigmented love that blush so so much I want to get the one that she has but I didn't have oh I didn't see it in store so they didn't have the powder foundation so I tried this I wasn't a fan of Juvia Juvia's Place's uh, Concealer and foundation. I tried that some years ago. I wasn't a fan of it. I actually that, that I recently just threw it away I wasn't a fan of it. So I'm gonna try this out and if I don't like it. I can always return it. So I got that this was I think was $15 and This was my most expensive purchase the hourglass Venice 
banish foundation this is the stick foundation in like 2018 2019 this was like so popular on youtube everybody raved about this and i wanted to try it but honestly i was like i don't pay 50 dollars for a foundation i was more of a drugstore girl but now now that i'm like doing things like this is kind of like a job for me reviewing things <laughs> So that's a, that's a flex. I'm so happy. That's a flex. I worked hard to get where I'm at. I'm gonna brag on that. Thank you, Jesus. Um, I want to try this foundation. So now that I can afford it, I want to try the Hourglass Foundation. I love uh, the absolute favorite hands down concealer of all times is the Hourglass Concealer. I talk about it all the time on my channel. Um, so I want to try the foundation to see if I like it or not. So I got this. This was $50, which I thought is a little pricey, but I'm gonna see if it's worth it or not. But honestly, the Kat Von D one I think was $42, and I like that one a lot. So, what, a little bit more, you know, it's kind of, honestly, it's not that expensive when you think about it because some foundations run about $40 for the high end. So, yeah. Uh, I showed you that already. And then, but not least, on uh, TikTok, this girl I follow, I can't think of her name, but she has really dark circles. I think that's why she went viral because she has dark circles and she shows you how to cover them up, color correct them or whatever. But she talked about this foundation in a recent uh, Instagram reel and said how this is the most full, fullest coverage concealer that she owns. And it's by Anastasia. Let me tell you why I'm a little disappointed. Okay, um, if this foundation is so, if this concealer is so good, why did all of the ones have dust on it? Like they all had dust on top of it. I had to like, to find my number, number 16, it was all dusty in the store. So I'm like, this has been there for a while and people just aren't buying it. So I don't know if this is slept on or if this, if that, if that, if that concealer, if this concealer is just really not that good or it is that good, it's just slept on. I'm gonna be the judge of that. So I'm gonna try that out probably in the next vlog. <sighs> and I'm headed back to work now, so. Thank you guys for spending your lunch break with me and watching me spend more money than I needed to. Oh, let me tell y'all, let me show y'all what I went in there to get. This, this is what I went in there to get that I had already paid for. I see so many of these were on sale. I got two of these. These are the, it's a, this is a foundation brush, but it's the perfect brush to blend out your concealer. Absolutely, I think it's regular $15 and it was on sale for $9. So I got two of them. And I already have three of these at home, so now I have two more. One of them is gonna, two of them is gonna be in my travel bag. Um, because I don't always clean my brushes every day, so I can always have a new one to spare. I still have, I think, three It Cosmetic brushes that I brought during the sale, the um, one day sales that I had got. And um, I kind of low key want to take them back, but I know it's over the over the, the return policy time. But I like Morphe brushes so, so much. It's better than It Cosmetics. Oh, my camera's running hot. This is why this is my car camera, because it overheats. I don't have my good camera with me, but I'm going back to work anyway, so I will talk to you later.